Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Trisha here from Smith's Craft Creations and um, I'm coming on to show you how to make um, a gift card holder using one sheet of DSP. So what you want to do is six by six sheet. We are going to cut it down to, um, right, hang on. I had a gift card, sample size. Right. So, just taking my coffee card, which measures three and, um, three and one, two, three eighths. So, if I cut this down to four. So, we want to cut at four. Okay. And then we want to score at, this is just over two. So, we want to score at two and a half and five. Really easy, simple design. Okay, fold and burnish, like so. Right, so that's the main body of the card. Okay, and then we're going to use this extra sheet to make a little belly band and decorate it. Now decide what way you want your paper to be. I think I like it that way. Now what we are going to do is quickly um, round the corners of the lip at the top and I know this is a retired product but I don't have a corner rounder yet so I'm using what I what I um, have in stock okay so that is your shape now we want to cut a little bit off of here so I would see half an inch so we're cutting half an inch off we may use that as well and then when your gift card is in there you will be able to see it like so okay i'm using my wild bean cafe card i am a coffee lover and i have lots of um coffee coupons <laughs> could probably actually have shares in the company right now what we're going to do is just add some tearing tape to the very very edge of your card holder. Let me snip that little bit off. Okay. And the same again on this side. Sorry, I'm a bit jittery today. Right. So, simple. Take this off. Then we're going to press it, fold it over. And we're going to burnish. If you want to use your bone folder, please do. We'll use red tape as well if you're not a fan of normal tearing tape. And you'll see that goes in there. Perfect. And then we close this over. Now these are great if you see you're buying a grandchild um, a box of chocolates um, or something. You could put this in beside it or attach it to the, to the gift. Um, really cute. Now... For the belly band, we're going to cut this in half, or you could keep it full width. But I'm going to cut it in half, so it measures two. I'm going to cut it down to one, one inch. Come on, Trisha. Yep. Is that lining up? Yep, yep. What have I done? What have I done? So we'll cut that last bit down to one inch. And we're simply going to make sure it's lined up fold it over and fold it over leaving it slightly loose okay so that you can um, remove okay so I'm just adding some wet glue on here not too much you don't want it to actually um, transfer onto your little gift card holder super easy super easy Right, all we need to do now is pop that back on. Look, more fingers and thumbs. It does go back on, trust me. <laughs> oh, you need to make sure it's uh, flat because it's quite flush. There we go. Now, what I want to do is I want to use the Jolly, Holly Jolly, I always say Jolly Holly, Holly Jolly um, coordinating stamp set. And I'm going to use my two inch circle punch 
to punch out. Um, where is my cardstock? Now this does have cherry cobbler and real red in it, as well as some green. So, ah, uh, no, I'm going to go for real red. So if I grab a piece of real red, la 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 la. la. Here we go, real red, and you'll see I have lots of little spare bits that I can utilise. So we're going to pop that out like so. Okay, I'll put that back in. That is going to attach on there. Um, now, what I want to add though is um, actually going to add a piece of ribbon. Mm, do, 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 if I can find it. Right, now I have this older, oh that's lovely lipstick. Um, you know what, I'm not going to bother, just ignore me. Right, I'm just going to pop a bit of glue on here. I'm going to press, centre this and press it down. Okay, like so. Adorable. You can use a pretty label punch or something as well. That would look quite nice. But I do like my circle punches. Right, so the next one, unfortunately it's a retired, but you will be able to use the die cut dies um, if you wish as well. Now, the colour I'm going to go for is... Let me just check what colour of green this is. Hang on a second. Net before Christmas we are in. Right, so the colour coordinating colours. Um it will tell you on your DSP pack. It is we've got old olive and mossy meadow. Okay. Um I don't want to use them. I want to use I think I'll use a bit of a piece of vanilla. So, I have a piece of vanilla out here somewhere. Here we go. Okay. Now, I don't have any scraps. In fact, you know what? I think I'll just stamp onto this in white. Should I? Or should I use crushed curry? Let me look and see if I've got crushed curry. I think I do. I may not have crushed curry. There are a couple of colours that I don't actually have yet. No, I'll just go with fairy vanilla. Or you could use white, but I think the fairy vanilla goes nice. Yep, perfect. La -da 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 -da. So, all I'm going to do is simply stamp the word believe in cherry cobbler. Um, so I'm going to um, obviously remove it from there. I do want to stamp direct onto the cardstock from there. Love it, love it. And um, I think I'll put... Let's see. You know what? I'm going to do that again. I'm going to pop this up a bit. As high up as it will fit. Then I'm going to add a second sentiment, which is going to be Love Santa. So, pop that back. I think that looks nice. And the Love Santa I'm going to do in um, crushed curry because we have the crushed curry in here. So I think that's adorable. Love Santa. Beautiful. There we go. You can see it now. So I think I'll add some embellishments to this one. You could add ribbon as well. Oh, can't get this shut. My fingers are really, really Sore. My thumb and this finger are, are fine. It's these two ones, the main ones that you use for gripping that are um, a bit skew with. But having been a 
Thai boxer for a lot of years and a touch typist. Um, it's only natural that I'm going to get arthritis in my fingers. So, it could be worse, it could be in my hips or something, so thankfully um, it's not. Now, Stamping Up Embellishments. That's not the one I'm looking for. Now, at Christmas you want everything to be as gorgeous and sparkly. So, let's see what I have in here. Da -da 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 -da. I've got pearls. I've got these. And I have these new real red rhinestone jewels. I haven't used these yet. It, there are some out of the pack that I was giving some away free to my customers. So, adorable. And of course we have the real red in here as well. Love it. So I'm just going to dot them about, like so. No right or wrong way. I do like that. I do like that. And that is going to go on there. Okay, now what I will do is I'm going to use um, a piece of ribbon on it too. Now, I did do another project with a belly band, and I, I think it was the um, Wrapped and Played box. Um, you'll find that in my channel list, uh, using the Wrapped and Played suite. Oh, look at this wee bugger. Get off of there. Um, and I actually used the... Oh, God, what's it called? Cherry Cobbler striped ribbon to go around that. Um, but I don't have that to hand. I don't know where it's went. I do not know where it is. So, um, let me have a quick look. I do know where it is. It's here. It is here. So, I'm going to pop a bit um, underneath. Absolutely love that. I think I'll pop it up and down the way, um, just to be different, and then I can trim off any excess. So another piece of tearing tape, okay, just like that, pop it off, and attach. And we don't want it overlapping because obviously people want to um, be able to grab the... Um, Bailey band to get into the gift. Okay, so dimensionals. I'll use my big dimensionals for quickness. Okay, so I want them on each side. Not overlapping on the ribbon so it doesn't go wonky. Not that it matters because it's still going to stick down good. What time are we at to ten past ten? Right, I am going to pop that there, and that is our um, little gift card holder. So if I just tidy up quickly and get things out of the way. So here we have it, slides off, open it up, and there we go. Now I think what I'll do, just to finish it off, I do have a piece of very vanilla here. Now this did measure uh, one inch, so I'm going to trim this up and I'm going to add a sentiment in the inside. Why not? So we want this down to not one inch, we want it smaller. I want it down to three quarters of an inch by that's four, so three and seven eighths roughly. Okay. Now what I will need to do to match the lip of the flap, or whatever it's called, you do want to punch the two top halves. I'm going to pop that in there. Now if I had crushed curry, I would be putting crushed curry in here. 
okay. But this is a little area you can put love from Gran, um, love from your mother-in-law or something like that. Okay, but I'm going to stamp something in here. Oh, my desk is just getting far too messy. I can't find my stamp set. And do you ever do that? You just look around and you just can't, for the love of you, find something. Here it is. Right, I'm going to use a lovely little sentiment, which is, um, I may your heart be filled with the season of love. In fact, no, I'm going to use a different one. I'm going to use a different one. From one of my other stamp sets. Which is um, Christmassy, obviously. So, oops, put Santa Holly Jolly Christmas away. And um, let's see from our house to yours. Right, I've got a couple of stamps in here. I'm going to do Merry Christmas. So I took Christmas out. And take the, the Mary out. Now I am going to stamp in crushed curry. It's just different. Nobody wants to be um, the norm when it comes to Christmas. Okay, so there's Mary stamped. Now, this set is great. It has a lot of stamps in it, so um, a lot of them are small, so do um, pop them away quickly. If you can. Right, I'm stamping the Mary in Crush Curry. I'm stamping the Christmas in Mossy Meadow. You might not like these colour choices, but it's okay. Change them up as you wish. Right, now, put Christmas away. It's great how you can just inter, um, interuse um, all your stamp sets together. You know, I'm going to use this little heart knife from the this other set. I'm just going to stamp a couple of hearts and cherry cobbler. Adorable. So you can um, personalise that with your own handwriting if you wish, or you can stamp. And that, my friends, is another little gift card holder. Adorable. From a one sheet of M6x6. Um, six six. So we're going to do some gift card holders. This style and my previous style at the craft class next week because I cancelled today. Um, so I hope the ladies like them. But we're basing it around birthday themes. Okay guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll speak to you soon.